Right, today we are going to speak about uh, uh, IELTS speaking. So uh, actually, if I want to speak about the speaking, we have to know how they uh, mark the spe your speaking exam. In your speaking exam, the examiner actually looks at uh, four uh, criteria. They, this, these uh, four are fluency and coherence. The second one is pronunciation. The third one is grammatical range and accuracy. The last one is lexical resources or the vocabulary used. So what does this mean? Actually, let's take them one by one. When we speak about uh, the, uh, the fluency and uh, coherence, it comes to how you speak very, uh, very uh, well, without any troubles, without thinking a lot, without stopping while you're speaking without doing any trouble uh, such as uh, this one pronunciation is one of the most important criteria actually yes it's very important but regardless that the accent yes hi yes dr Naveen, i think uh, yes very uh, good. please i want to make a test yes I, i'm ready well, lie, i'm ready a long time ago i just wanted everybody to uh, to be with me we are now conducting the IELTS test part one. I will ask, you will answer. Okay. Very good. How do you usually keep in touch with members of your family? Um, family is a basic unit in the society. Uh, for me, it means a lot. I usually spend uh, a weekend with my family, um, maybe uh, watching television. Uh, make uh, uh, cakes and so on. Do you prefer to speak to people by phone or by writing emails? For me, I prefer uh, phone. Uh, it's better for me. Uh, I don't like uh, to use mails. I, I usually use my, uh, my phone uh, daily. Do you ever write letters by hand? Why or why not? I think writing letters nowadays is uh, not common because uh, we are living in era of uh, globalization. We usually use uh, cell phone and uh, texting through cell phone, uh, not by hand. Oh, is there anything you dislike about mobile phones? Please again. Is there anything you dislike about mobile phones? Uh, for me, um, mobile phones may be uh, uh, addicted and uh, this will be harmful. Uh, maybe uh, I, I rather spend a few hours in, in uh, social medias and so on and Twitter and so on. Okay, uh, at work on or in your studies, do you often write things? Write things, you mean? Write things. Yes, yes, I work as a pharmacist. I usually uh, write notes and many things daily. How often do you send emails? As I mentioned before, I uh, I don't use uh, mail uh, frequently, but I think maybe once weekly. Do you prefer to write by hand or on a computer? Um, for me, it's preferable to use a computer. It's more easier and uh, technology make everything now is uh, Nice, uh, rather than writing by hand. It's an old fashioned, I think. Uh, do you think computers might one day replace handwriting? Yes, sure. Uh, as I mentioned, we live in an era of globalization. Um, the advent of technology uh, changed our uh, society tremendously. Uh, so, uh, writing by hand, maybe. Uh, in the next uh, 
decades will be fewer and fewer and so on. Okay, so this is the end of part one. Actually, um, I'd like to give you my comments on part one, uh, and I uh, want you to put them into consideration. It's my name, Dr. Naveen. هديكي شوية حاجات وشوية شوية نصايح أتمنى أن أنت مستر مستر محمد شحاتة just a minute because I'm with Dr. Naveen when I finish I will start with you directly طيب أولا مبدئيا أكلم بقى بصراحة يعني عادي مبدئيا حضرتك عندك مشكلة في الثا sound with that دايما تقولي think دايما تقولي without using the tap of your tongue. And this is one of the main problems that we face as Egyptians uh, when we go through uh, the test. Because uh, the examiner always has a idea about us that we have a lot of the things that we have. We don't have the P and the B. So that was the thing. The other thing is the use of vocabulary. You need to improve your Uh, level of vocabulary في الايلتس عشان تنجحي مظبوط لازم تستخدمي حاجه اسمها advanced vocabulary advanced vocabulary ده اللي هو مرحله متقدمه انت استخدمتي مثلا في السؤال الاولاني كلمه good وكلمه important actually these two words are common words and they are not recommended to be used in IELTS instead you uh, you have to remove the, the idea of good and bad from your mind لما تيجي تشتغلي في الايلتس انسي كلمه جود وكلمه باد. يو كان يوز سمثينج ايلس يعني عجبني ان انت في وسط الكلام استخدمتي كلمه تريمندسلي. تريمندسلي احسن من ما تقولي وايد احسن ما تقولي بيج احسن ما تقولي حتى هيوج. ممتاز. كمان كلمه جود وكلمه باد بدل ما تقولي جود امبورتنت ثينج وي كان يوز كروشال وي كان يوز فايتال وي كان يوز نيسيساري. يو هاف تو يوز سمثينج ويتش از كولد A advanced vocabulary. The advanced vocabulary that I refer to from the IELTS books, because there are books, actually, many, very good on advanced vocabulary. Or if you have a course, of course, or something like that. Okay. I said, for example, think, can think. See the meaning is different from what Dr. Naveen said. The word think means to think, but the word think means to change. You changed the meaning completely. بمجرد بس ما حطيتي لسان حضرتك جوه الاسنان مش بره المفروض احنا نقول اي ثينك اي ثينك افري ثينك اني ثينك تمام كمان وانت في وسط البارت 1 ودي نصيحه كده فنيه ما ينفعش ابدا ما ينفعش ابدا تقولي لحد بليز اجين احنا كده بقينا في فيلم عسل اسود اللي هي اجين لا ما ينفعش خالص اجين دي تمام وكمان في بارت 1 المفروض اصلا نعم في بارت 1 المفروض اصلا I said again because I didn't hear the question at all I I, I know so I said again in, in part لا I mean the pronunciation of the word again it's not again <تصفيق> زي ما احنا بنقولها في مصر it's again تمام ال pronunciation بتاع الكلمه طبعا في الامتحان فنيا حضرتك مش المفروض خالص تسالي الاكزامينر في بارت 1 تو ريبيت ذا كويستشن يو كان دو ذس ان بارت 3 اند وين يو اسك هيم ان اوردر تو ريبيت يو هاف تو اسك ان ا واي يعني مثلا يا جماعه من ضمن النصايح اللي لازم تعرفوها ان انتوا ما ينفعش تقولوا وات ذس از ا رود واي اوف Asking the examiner to repeat something. May in fact, خالص حضرتك تقول له what? أنت بتقول إيه؟ لا ما ينفع. طب من المفروض يا مستر عمر نعمل إيه؟ المفروض إن أنت تقول له I'm sorry, I beg your pardon, I didn't come across what you have said. تمام؟ دي الطريقة اللي إحنا المفروض نكلم بها الاكزامينر. I'm sorry. تمام؟ I beg your pardon, I didn't come across what you have said. بالطريقة دي أنا بطلب منه يعيد اللي هو قاله أو بقول له إن أنا ما فهمتش اللي أنت قلته فمثلا ممكن تعيده بطريقة أبسط شوية وفي الحالة دي بتبقى الطريقة زي ما بيقولوا كده in a polite way or politely not a rude way of asking what uh, please again no don't say so أوكي okay? وكمان طبعا هنا دكتور نيفين ليها بس عذرها إن هي ما سمعتش السؤال لكن طبعا ما يكون face to face part one part two do not ask the examiner to repeat the question 
قلتي حضرتك موبافونز ادابتد موبافونز ادابتد معناها هم الـ هم الـ اللي عندهم هم اللي مدمنيننا مش العكس تمام فنخلي بالنا من الباسيف اند اكتيف فورمز This is very important. I like to join, please. جماعة أي حد عايز يعمل joining هيلاقي comment هنا في comments. أنا عمل له pen. Feel Zoom ID. If you want to join, join me on in the Zoom until I fix the problem of the sharing on the Facebook. And Zoom ID تاني seven six eight seven four seven nine eight five. هو مكتوب عندكم هنا في الكومنتات في في ال في الفيسبوك. طيب. حضرتك كمان ال answers بتاعت حضرتك are very short answers يعني الحاجات دي تتاخد على حضرتك فين؟ في الجزء بتاع ال fluency and fluency and coherence خلي بالكم يا جماعه ال band line بتاعت ال speaking متقسمه اربع اجزاء fluency coherence fluency يعني امكانيتك في ان انت تتكلم بطلاقه لكن مش بسرعه خلي بالكم برضو من النقطه دي يعني not too الحاجات دي تتاخد على حضرتك سوري في في حد فتح الصوت يا جماعه بس يا ريت الصوت عشان يعني ما حدش يخش على فجاه كده طيب تاني يبقى احنا نخلي بالنا ان انا مش معنى ان انا ابقى فلوينت ان انا ابقى بتكلم بسرعه لا خالص ابقى بتكلم ناتشرالي نورمالي لايك بيبل لايك وين بيبل سبيك Something that is uh, you have to put in your mind is to expand, to elaborate in a, um, a, a way you don't go into redundancy or repetition. يعني أنا ممكن أعمل elaboration للسؤال. يعني مثلاً على سبيل المثال لما أنا سألت دكتور نيفين وقلت لها uh, Do you prefer to write by hand or on a, com uh, on a computer? She said, as I told you before, it's better to write on a computer because I don't use so and so and so, or it, it, it's preferable to write by hand because I don't use so and so, and, so, and said at the end, and so on. في الحقيقة دي مش الإجابة اللي ممكن نقولها للإكزامينر في الوضع ده. ما إيه الإجابة الصحيحة؟ أو إيه الإجابة الريكومندد للمسألة دي؟ مثلا تقول Well, uh, it, it depends what I'm doing. I prefer the computer for most things, uh, but it's faster. You can save or copy things. But I still like making notes or writing ideas down by hand. If that the طريقة ما تجاوبش إجابات مختصرة لأن الإجابات المختصرة هتتحسب عليك الإجابات اللي فيها yes or no. يا ريت برضو الناس وياه بتجاوب ما تقولش yes ما تقولش no. ما ما تتكلمش بالشكل ده خالص الاجابات اللي فيها حتى yes or no um, well uh, uh, it was an interesting question uh, which i didn't expect وبعد كده تبتدي تتكلم تمام تاخده في دقيقه في دقيقتين ترد عليه مثلا مثلا سؤال الاولاني خالص سالناه الدكتوره نيفين لما قلت لها how do you usually keep in touch with members of your family uh, she said i meet them and we can uh, talk together uh, cook together do things or stuff together حلو بس ما اقول لك keep in touch you have to comprehend the question keep in touch يعني انا بقول لك ايه الوسيله اللي انت بتتصل بيها يعني بتستخدمها عشان تتصل بيهم عن طريقها فمثلا ممكن تقول mostly it depends i mostly keep in touch with my family by phone and i have started using internet to make video calls I always try to visit to visit members of my family in person as often as I can. You know, uh, all of us are busy every day, and we can't easily uh, keep in touch by visiting physically. That's it. تمام. يبقى أنا ما جاوب على سؤال من الأسئلة دي المفروض أحاول أعمل elaboration as much as possible. But it, لكن the elaboration or the expansion ده. ما يكونش عن طريق ان انا اعيد وازيد في الكلام، يعني لا يبقى كده ولا يبقى كده، احاول اعمل تراي تو اد فيلرز، تراي تو اد فيلرز، تراي تو ميك سمثينج لايك ذات. طيب ده كده كان تعليقي على دكتور نيفين، برضو لاحظي او خلي بالك وانت بتقولي اي ما تخليش تركيزك في ان انت تتكلمي ان انت تزودي حرف اس، يعني انت قلتي اي رايتس تمام؟ 
and I have to say I write, but sometimes when you are under the stress of the exam, people forget or add the uh, singular S even when they speak about themselves. Let's go to uh, another candidate here with us. And who will be the next one? I think Mr. Muhammad Shahata. Hi, good evening, Mr. Amr. How are you, Mr. Shahada? You're, you have a, a kind of echo in the place you're in. Can you please move to another place in order to hear you well? Because this echo will make me actually dizzy. I, I couldn't uh, get across your uh, voice. All right. Uh, Let me just try. Uh, this is okay now? Yeah, it's okay now. Right. We can start now, Mr. Amr. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, tell me about the kind of accommodation you live in. Uh, actually, uh, I'm staying in a small flat with my family since I live, uh, I don't currently live in, uh, uh, in Egypt. So it is kind of a small accommodation uh, since I can accommodate with my sm small family. Uh, like uh, apartments, uh, it's just a uh, small uh, uh, 2 BHK. How long have you lived there? Uh, actually, it's now more than five years. Uh, what do you like about living there? Uh, actually, many things I like about living. You mean? Do you mean the place, Mr. Amr, or the the accommodation, the small accommodation that I have talked about? I'm um, speaking about your accommodation. Right. Uh, actually, uh, the, the thing I like in the accommodation that it is uh, it is good enough for me and my small family. This is first thing. Uh, secondly, uh, in terms of course, I just pay. I just pay small cost only, which is, I mean, small amount. Uh, instead of living in a big place or big villa or something, uh, will cost me more than the, uh, the required amounts. Uh, so uh, if I ask you, what sort of accommodation would you most like to live in? In fact, I, I like to live in accommodation uh, as a part of a building. Uh, like uh, most of the flats will be the same uh, size and uh, it has uh, like uh, some organizations or or the same I mean what I mean is the same uh, style for all for, for all most of the buildings around us and uh, where um, uh, is your um, I'm sorry is your accommodation an apartment or a house it's actually apartment because it's a part of building, it's just flat, small flat. Uh, another question. Um, I, I'd like you to describe the ideal uh, home that you would like to live in. Question number one, why, what your ideal home would look like? Right. Uh, well, uh, regarding my ideal home that I wish to live uh, in in the future, uh, it's a kind of same accommodation uh, with the same uh, with the same I mean requirements and style. Uh, but in terms of size, I like it to be much bigger uh, for the future requirements. When I have a bigger family, then it will be required to have a bigger accommodation. And also, it, uh, I prefer to be in a such a quiet place uh, where we can have uh, uh, kind of facilities and uh, uh, many shops and uh, things around us. Only? This is the first, regarding the first question. Uh, wh where it would be? In the middle of the city. I prefer to be in the middle of the city where I can find the facilities and uh, um, uh, other stuff I want to purchase or to get. And why you would like to live there? Excuse me? And why do you like to live there? Uh, why do I like to live there? Is it, is it correct? Did I get the question correctly? Yes. Yeah, as I, as I just mentioned a few minutes ago, that living in the middle of the city is quite well to just get the services and the facilities 
and everything will be around us, such as the uh, uh, sporting clubs uh, and also other facilities like supermarkets. Uh, many things will be around us to just enjoy it. And also at the same time, it will be easy in getting tra trans transportations uh, if I don't have vehicle, because sometimes I will not have uh, cars so that it will be easy for me to just get into the, uh, the other places. Okay, thank you, Mr. Muhammad, and uh, here are my comments. Uh, طيب, Mr. Thank you very much. Mr. Lockwood Montez, في البداية بس عايز أنوه على إن you have already the fluency and you seem natural all the time. You're, you speak normally, not uh, too fast or too slow, and this is good. Uh, also, uh, you have um, uh, used um, a wide range of uh, advanced vocabulary, uncommon words, and this is this um, actually um, is a kind of an advantage. Uh, type. Lakin, uh, I have some uh, some other uh, comments concerning the drawbacks which is number one, your answers were very short. Sometimes you just give me a, a piece of an answer. Like when I ask you, um, uh, what sort of accommodation, uh, what do you like most or what do you most like to live in? You just said, uh, I um, prefer to live in an apartment or a flat, but you must go deeper in uh, answering such a question by describing the, uh, the flat, by telling me what, why, why should you, uh, or why did you choose to live in a flat, uh, or something like that. Try to expand somehow. Uh, um, you answered this in another question, but I mean that every single question is a separate test. كل سؤال منهم يعتبر separate test. separate test ده انت محتاج uh, تتكلم علي. Uh, كمان لما قلت لك tell me about your uh, accommodation um, uh, I didn't have the, uh, the answer that I um, uh, really waited from you uh, because um, uh, when I said tell me about the kind of accommodation you live in I expected that you go deep in describing the accommodation like I live in a house that has a living room, kitchen, two bedrooms and a bathroom uh, or a bathroom and a small garden. It's very big house, but it's just right for me. Okay, you may uh, describe your small flat and tell me that it suits you because you have a kind of a small family and you don't have uh, that big family or that huge number of people in the as members of the family in order to uh, elaborate in order to expand without repetition without making me feel bored another uh, comment is sometimes sometimes you have the trouble of think this uh, the same so sometimes you say the same thing and so on when it comes to uh, the fluency uh, issue yani yeah, in order to keep the fluency uh, sometimes you uh, go or you fill in the trap of that 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 and people on facebook pay attention to that problem when you speak it's very important to keep your mind keep your all focus on how to pronounce it doesn't matter how you your accent is because everybody every non Native speaker has an accent. Everybody, even if you are native-like, you have an accent. Once they hear you, they know that you are not a native, a native person. But uh, uh, when it comes to pronunciation, this is the issue. This is the problem. The problem is that you don't have to go uh, uh, by yourself and throw yourself in this uh, big hole. Uh, uh, you have to think always of pronouncing very well. إحنا كمصريين عندنا مشكلة بسيطة ووضحة دائما. الذا والثاء. الباء والباء. فيا ريت الناس اللي عايزة تخش الـ speaking exam تتمرن عليهم كتير. تتمرن عليهم قدام مراية. علشان توصل للمرحلة اللي انت عايزها. تمام؟ لازم تتمرن وصاد مراية علشان تبقى شايف نفسك وانت بتتكلم. خلي نفسك الـ examiner بتاع نفسك. تمام؟ كمان في مشكلة في 
في السنجلر بلورال انت استخدمت ا مع ريكويرمنتس طبعا دي كلها عشان انت مركز ان انت هاو تو بي فلوينت كلمه ايديال اتس ايديال اوكي نوت ايديال اتس نوت سوشيال اتس نوت سمثينج لايك ذات اتس سوشيال ايديال تمام تراي تو ليسن Uh, um, uh, for a, a big deal of listening or to listen uh, every day to native speakers in order to spot the way of speaking some specific words. Kaman, بلاش نستخدم كلمة a kind, a kind, a kind. وإحنا في speaking exam. حاجة من الحاجات اللي دكتور نيفين ومستر محمد ما ذكروهاش خالص اللي هي idioms. Uh, you have at least to use idioms once, twice while you speak. I'm a kalimak ala haga bit hibba ou ye ul, it's my cup of tea. Or it is very easy, like a piece of cake. Tamam? I can use it like a piece of cake. El hagat is sahla lhumma bistadmoa day by night. If I'm in your shoes, I would. Or if I wear new shoes, I would do so and so and so. لو أنا مكانك كنت عملت كذا كذا. I'm into something. أما كن بتحب حاجة ما تقولش I like يعني قول I'm into. حاجة من حاجات برضو تانية اللي عايز على عليها كلمة firstly, secondly, thirdly. طب ولي بنستخدم الكلمة دي. Try to use advanced vocabulary like furthermore, moreover, nevertheless, thus, indeed, besides. استخدموا ال conjunctive adverbs. Conjunctive adverbs are uh, uh, يعني make your speech uh, seems. Conjunctive adverbs make your speak, uh, speech uh, seems uh, natural. Ne seems normal, like native speakers. لازم يا جماعة تسمعوا الناس native كتير علشان خاطر تاخد طريقة كلامه. مش بس طريقة نطق. طريقة النطق مش لوحدها هي الاشي. طريقة الكلام اسف يعني مش بس ازاي بينطق الكلمات لكن طريقة الكلام نفسها ايه الكلمات اللي هو بيستخدمها لان ده بيفرق عن بيفرقنا عنهم وبيفرق كل بلد عن التانية يعني الكلمات اللي بتستخدم في انجلترا مش هي الكلمات اللي بتستخدم في في امريكا مش هي الكلمات اللي بتستخدم في استراليا كل بلد وليها طريقة مس اماني ار يو ريدي؟ هو از ريدي تو يو ار ويلكم مستر محمد شحاتة ات واز ماي بليجر تو هاف ذا تاسك ويز يو هاي مستر عم How are you? Can you hear me, please? Yes, I can hear you very well. Alhamdulillah, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, are you ready for the test? I hope. Okay. I'll ask you about something that all women like and love, actually, which is fashion. Uh, question number one. Are clothes and clothing fashions important to you? Why and why not? Um, I can't say that uh, after, for me, personally, for me, because I am a little bit old, you know, not so old, but it's not a big deal to, do, to talk about fashion and the latest uh, styles. But I like to follow sometimes, but I, I usually pick what suits me better. Uh, what different clothes do you wear for different situations? For example, if I am at work, I usually uh, wear formal clothes. If I'm uh, at home or with my friends, I usually get casual because it's comfortable. It makes me feel easy to move around and to have uh, more more confident moving. But usually, I prefer casual clothes. Do you wear different styles of clothes now uh, compared to 10 years ago? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> Yes, I think I, I do. Ten years ago, I was in my thirties. Um, now I am in my forties. So styles changes with age, with responsibilities, with a lot, a lot of loads of work. I think yes, it changes with age. Uh, do you think the clothes we wear say something about who we are? Of course they do. Of course they do. If you are in casual class, when you are in your twenties, you, you have a lot of fun. You have you don't have enough responsibility. You feel free to do whatever you want. You have more flexibility to move in and to change. 
after getting old with more responsibilities, with more work, with more family of, uh, responsibilities, you start to change your style a little bit, a little bit. But you always keep your style, even your colors, it change a little, but it's you. I think even if I look backwards 10 years ago, I can see myself in the same style, maybe a little bit different using flat shoes sometimes, casual clothes, feeling comfortable is my priority now to get the task done. I think it has to change over time. Okay, do you like walking? Of course, <laughs> who wouldn't? I like walking so much. Maybe it's the only pleasure we can get after work. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't require a lot of efforts or a lot of preparation. You can just get your training and just jump into the street with a track to have a walk. Uh, do you think walking is important? Of course, it's important, very important and for your health. Unfortunately, in, our, in, in Egypt, generally, we don't have enough space for walking. But we have to stick to it because at least if you don't have enough time for practicing, for exercising, you have to find one way or another to practice to exercise. Do you think walking in the countryside is better than walking in the city or not? Of course it is. In the countryside, it's uh, relieving. You can think, you can relax, you can see a lot of things. You can even breathe fresh, fresh air. But in the, in, the, in the city center, I think it's hell to some extent because you don't have enough space, a lot of traffic, no places ready for us to walk but if you have to you have to find a way maybe early a little bit early in the morning or you can find accommodation you have to find a way what could be done to improve the experience of walking in cities i i hope we have to if you don't have a choice you have to find a way you have to make a compromise find your own way to do it so what suggestion? Walking up early after the Fajr, after Fajr prayer, <laughs> get ready and go for a walk in the city. If you don't have another choice, this is the best time to do it. Uh, maybe a little late after 12, but it's not, a, it's not so safe to walk in a city center after 12. Maybe with your family or somebody to accompany you, but not that yourself, at, at least for women. So, uh, so if we think of improving the experience of walking in cities, what, what could be done? I think we should have more gardens, we should have enough tracks provided or being available for citizens to walk in. We should, I think that the government should provide us with access to move in, not to fill all the streets with all these pavements. We don't have enough space to move in. And I don't believe that the Egyptians, they don't have the, they don't believe in having the, or giving others space in order to practice their own freedom. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you in my test. Thank you so much. Uh, Tay, uh, all in all, you were amazing. Uh, actually, your way of uh, exposing your ideas, illustrating, using a lot of examples, and even the intonation, uh, you use your intonation perfectly. Uh, your uh, accent is wonderful. And I like to say that you um, that went through many ideas. You weren't short anymore. You elaborated, you expanded um, your thoughts, you recapped. Um, uh, you did everything, every single bit of what any IELTS examiner needs from the candidate. Uh, but I have some issues, um, uh, like using the word of course more um, uh, than enough. Uh, if you are inside the same exam, it, it's not recommended actually to repeat the same word in the beginning of each question. Uh, you can say perfectly, uh, with no doubt, uh, sure, uh, I'm certain so and so, and instead of saying of course all the time, you can also use some fillers like, well, 
um, I, I thought the, this question is a kind of an, or is an interesting question uh, to have. Um, uh, it, it is a pleasure actually to answer such a question. So all of these fillers will be um, uh, beneficial uh, in your test. In, in, instead, you repeated the word, of course, more than once, and this is not recommended. Uh, using the word so much, which is totally informal, try to avoid using such informal words, uh, especially when you are in the speaking exam and the writing exam. Um, uh, using the word I think more than once also, so repeating like stereo uh, type words. Uh, this is not recommended, Mr. Manny. Um, uh, you can uh, vary the, the vocabulary used in order to tell the, the examiner that you have a wide range of advanced vocabulary. Uh, the word extent, uh, it's not extent because uh, maybe it's a, uh, a slab of a tongue, uh, because actually I'd like to say that I was impressed by your accent uh, and your pronunciation. Uh, you use the word move in and it is move on. Because moving pavements means that we are diggers. We are going to throw the, the ace wall itself, not move on uh, pavements or move on streets. This was in the last question. But all in all, you're great. Uh, if you, um, I am in the shoes of the examiner, I will have the pleasure to give you eight with a good heart. Thank you so much for joining me, and it was really a good uh, chance and opportunity to have uh, such a perfect uh, examining. Thank you so much, Professor Manny. Thank you. Uh, let's move to uh, Ms. Karima. And this will be the last candidate in order to have enough time for myself to uh, drink some tea before going to sleep because I wake up every dawn. <laughs> Right. Let's have Ms. Karima, uh, who is ready maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago. Uh, Ms. Karima, are you with us or you are not with us? Uh, she's yes, here. I'm with, I'm with ah, very good. But please raise your voice in order to let me uh, find a way or another to uh, check the points of your exam. Um, can you hear me very well? Yes, I can hear you well. Very good. Okay, let's start with something that women actually don't recommend, which is sports. What sports or physical activities do you regularly do? I'm really sorry, I didn't get your question. Can you repeat that again, please? Uh, yes, I can repeat it, but also, uh, can you go closer to the oh, microphone? Oh, is so bad, so I didn't get the question. Uh, okay, I will repeat it, but can you go closer to the microphone in order to let me listen to you carefully and hear you uh, clearly? Thank you so much. Yes, I, I did. Okay, what sports or physical activity do you regularly do? Well, to be honest uh, with you, I didn't uh, practice any uh, exercise, but I just walk in. I just walk in every day when I go to my work. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, it, um, it takes approximately uh, 20 minutes. Yes. That's it. Okay, which sport or game would you like to be good at? <laughs> yes, that's an interesting question. I think um, uh, I would like uh, I would like to uh, to learn uh, soccer uh, because it's really a famous, a popular uh, games in the world. I know it's not uh, it's not popular for women, but I'd like to uh, play it because the soccer players are very uh, famous, the most famous uh, player in the world and uh, get a lot of uh, out of money so i think it's a uh, it's a good play uh, okay do you prefer watching or playing sports 
Well, um, I don't uh, absolutely. I um, yani, to, to be honest, I the I don't like. Uh, I am not into watching um, watching any sports uh, because um, I don't have time to do to do that. But I just when I see there is international games around the world, I just uh, take um, a final a final um, yani a final result about it. But I think I don't like watch it. Uh, for um, but about uh, practicing. Uh, as I told you before, um, I um, I don't have also I don't have enough time to do that. I just walk in. Uh, do you? So I prefer yes. Uh, okay, continue. So, um, but uh, by the way, I prefer practicing, uh, practicing, um, practicing any um, any uh, practicing any um, any uh, any sorry in my <laughs> practicing any play. Uh, any uh, then watching. Okay. Uh, if I'd like to ask you another question, do you think children should be encouraged to do more sport? Yes. Yes. Uh, I uh, I think um, practicing sports is very very important for our children because absolutely it's um, um, it's help us to uh, to keep physical and um, uh, help yani yeah, help uh, sorry. Um, help them uh, to be in the co cooperating, cooperating all, all the time, and work under pressure and work with uh, with team. So uh, for me, if I have a channel in the future, inshallah, absolutely, I will help my children to learn it, to to choose any play uh, as they want. Okay. So uh, if I'd like to ask you to speak for two minutes, can you? Yes. Why not? Okay, I'll ask you to describe a game or a sport you enjoyed playing in the past, maybe tomorrow, uh, in uh, any other day. You have to answer the questions of what kind of sport it is, who you play with, where you play it, and explain why you enjoy playing it. I will put the four questions for you in the chat, um, uh, in the chat here. In the chat so in order to see the questions while you are answering them yes i think you received them now what kind of sport it is who you play it with where you play it and explain why you enjoy playing it so this is a, a kind of a part two um, a question describe a game or sport you enjoy playing uh, sorry. Uh, be, before I answer, uh, do, do you ask me about uh, about play? I played it in the in the in the in the past, or in general. Today, in the past, whatever, uh, wh wh whenever you want to speak about. If you want to speak about something that you already participated in the past, it's okay. If you want to speak about something you would like to uh, join in the future, it's also a kind of okay. <laughs> So what kind of sport it is, who you play it with, where you play it, and explain why you enjoy it. Okay. You have one minute to prepare. Okay. Tell uh, uh, Ms. Karima prepares herself for, for uh, the exam. I like um, to uh, uh, thank everybody who was with me in the live uh, video. And I'm so sorry for the inconvenience of um, the issues uh, um, until I uh, fix my Facebook settings uh, and see why it isn't it working and I, uh, why uh, can't I uh, let people join uh, so everything inshallah will be okay and i will uh, make my best do my best in order to uh, fix uh, such a problem in order to be uh, ready to invite uh, as many people as i can to my um, facebook um, uh, live videos uh, uh, to make benefit for with all the people and to 
help uh, people who would like to try themselves in a speaking in speaking uh, free free speaking test uh, with Mr. Amr Asmat and uh, with uh, my team uh, mates uh, of Al Burbund uh, teamwork. I'd like to thank you, thank them all, and thank everybody who uh, attended this uh, live video. Uh, thank you so much, and I will um, uh, publish the uh, the live video or the meeting of the Zoom on the Facebook in order to make people um, make the best use and get the benefit of uh, such a uh, such a live video. Thank you so much, and see you soon. Bye bye. Okay, Ms. Karima? Yes, I'm ready. ready. Yes, speak. Nobody here? <laughs> I'm here. Yes, hello. Um, okay. Uh, I remember vividly with, uh, when my mother, uh, when, my, when my mom uh, came from her work and uh, he asked me, there is, uh, and the, uh, she, told, uh, she told me, there is a big uh, competition in our city uh, about um, about many kinds of uh, sports, about many kinds of sports, and also there is where a women uh, soccer uh, team. They I decided uh, so uh, um, uh, so my my mother um, uh, asked me if I can uh, join to this uh, team, but I was afraid about it because it's the first time uh, because it was the first time for my life to do that. But uh, she encouraged me so much and promised me and promised me if I um, um, if I uh, won this game she will give me a big amount of money. Uh, so I really decided to do that. Um, at the first, as I told you, I was um, afraid. But I um, I told my friends, uh, um, especially my friends, uh, my best friend is Sarah. Uh, she also encouraged me and he promised me uh, she will join with me. Uh, absolutely. After just um, after um, after uh, a month of training, uh, the competition start in uh, in our city. Uh, so after just uh, three uh, three game uh, three games, uh, we uh, we played well, and my mom was very happy about that. Um, and I uh, and um, our our team um, our team came the first in our city. In, in a soccer team, uh, we we were over the moon about that, uh, and we um, and we won the the first uh, uh, cup, um, the first cup. Uh, so um, so I really enjoyed about it because um, I was afraid, but after many encouragement from my mother and the friends, I can get it, and absolutely I um, I get uh, confidence. Okay, and after this. Um, after this competition, I um, I begin, you know, I start um, doing anything and don't mm -hmm. care about um, don't care about fear in my life. Uh, and I love this um, this um, soccer so much. But so in the future, I want to be a big uh, a big soccer player. Um, so um, if I have uh, kids, I told you in the future, absolutely, I will uh, put my dream in him, uh, in them. Um, although I didn't, uh, although I um, I don't uh, practice uh, this um, this uh, soccer uh, nowadays. Um, <laughs> nowadays, uh, nowadays I uh, I still keep hold on that dream in the future. I can do that. Okay. Um, uh, so thank you. The two um, minutes are, uh, are I over. believe in that. Yes. Thank you. The two minutes are over. I have a bunch of comments on you uh, Ms. Karima and actually uh, thank you for your fluency your uh, generation of ideas um, you were uh, amazing concerning uh, these two points you have a lot of ideas you have elaboration you can speak freely for more than two minutes even and this is good you have the confidence to speak and you uh, from your voice your intonation is perfect uh, and uh, you use it perfectly and that means that you have the confidence to show yourself and to expose your thoughts without any troubles but actually you have two main problems these two main problems must be must be handled because they are so clear like 
the sun in the shining uh, day. Uh, actually, uh, number one, you have a problem in pronunciation. And I, when I mean, when I speak about pronunciation, I speak about two aspects. The first one of them is the, uh, 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 the phonics or the phonetics of some, uh, or the pronunciation of some specific words like soccer team. It's not soccer team because soccer means somebody who sucks but uh, actually soccer team soccer team soccer yes it is not soccer team it's soccer team but you have to show the difference between soccer and soccer uh, soccer team is the football team so this is one thing also you have a, tr a problem uh, concerning that and that uh, you said this sink uh, sing instead of thing uh, uh, think i'm sorry famous friends so you have to uh, uh, find a way or another in order to fix this problem. Okay. Okay. So you have to fix this problem. Uh, also, uh, uh, using a word like absolutely, uh, uh, a kind of a way or uh, kind of such words, you have to think of uh, that when I say absolutely, I have to have a different intonation. Because actually, I want to tell the reader or the examiner or the one who listens to me that I'm saying something that must be put into consideration. You also have a trouble concerning the grammar. Uh, when you said an interesting question, I just walking, I just walk, or I am just walking, if you speak about the present time. Uh, you said with instead of with. You said worded. Do you do you know the mean, the meaning of the word the word worded? Worded, but it is word. Okay, I we live in this world because of so and so and so and so, and you can speak like that. And instead of saying at first, say in the beginning. And this is uh, uh, mostly recommended when you use it in uh, language. Uh, uh, you repeated a lot, uh, some some words. You spoke and say pressure, and it is actually pressure. You said inshallah in the middle of your talk. I said, come on, thank you. you. Said inshallah, but actually in the honest exam, try to avoid such words because they they are not Arabs. Not fun, and it is not recommended to use words like this. You use the word yani more than once. This also must be put into consideration. Uh, nothing is called join to. It's join something. Uh, it's help us. It helps us. It's not it's help us. So you need to focus somehow on the grammar and the pronunciation of some uh, specific clusters or deaf tongues like the, like fa like uh, uh, when you have two consonants together like the word a word like friends it's friends not friendies so don't pronounce the last letter before the s in order to uh, avoid adding an e which is not found actually it's friends friends aisles aisles not eyelets like people like what people say in egypt because in arabic we don't have this Two or this cluster of two consonants together. في العرب إحنا ما عندناش حاجة اسمها التقاء ساكنين. يعني ما بيبقى عندي حرف ساكن وحرف ساكن. بقى من عامل إيه مجمعهم وحضت في الوسط كسرة أو فتحة أو ضمة. فيبقى في ال ال إز أو ال أوز أو ال أز كده في ال في العربي. أما في الإنجليش فما فيش حاجة اسمها two consonants are are not allowed to come after each other. طب إنستاد أنا بعمل إيه بستاد بحاجة اسمها week four. الويك فورم ده اللي هو ايه يا مس كريمه اللي هو الحرف قبل حرف الاس بعمله ويك او لدرجه انه ما بيبانش فبقول فرانس فرانس ما بقولش فريندز لان لو نطقت الدي هنطق هحط اي من عندي قبل الاس فتبقى فريندز ما تبقاش فرانس تبقى ايلتس ما تبقاش ايلز وهو اصلا الاسم التست ان ايلز اكزام تمام uh, فدي حاجة uh, أنا بس محتاج إن أنا uh, أنويلك عليها الفلونسي was amazing uh, بس البرونسيشن والجرامر محتاجة شوية to focus on, uh, on it and also you have to think of uh, uh, coherence حاولي تستخدمي okay. conjunctions كتير زي uh, 
the conjunctive adverbs, however, okay. uh, therefore, nevertheless, furthermore, moreover, والحاجات الجميله دي خالص. كنت سعيد جدا بوجودي معاكم وشكرا جزيلا على انكم اتحتوا لي الفرصه الجميله دي. دكتور بليز دكتور بليز اي هاف ا كويشن. يس. اه يا. ثانك يو سو ماتش فور فور سبيند يور تايم. ربنا يبارك فيكم كلكم شرفتوني جدا وان شاء الله يبقى لينا كل فتره كده راوند سبيكينج مع بعض نقعد نتسامر فيه ونتعلم فيه من بعض. يلا اشوفكم على خير ان شاء الله. السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته.